Mr. Beast's thumbnail on the left would have took tens of hours to make and probably cost him thousands of dollars. Whereas it only took me five minutes to make my thumbnail on the right using a free trial of Canva's new AI tools. And I didn't even need to wear a suit crazy. In this video, I'm going to remake the Mr. Beast thumbnail you can see on screen now from start to finish using Canva's AI so that you can learn how to easily create eye-catching thumbnails like Mr. Beast does that get clicks. So I started off by importing this thumbnail from YouTube over to a blank Canva canvas just so that we have it there for reference. And I'm going to start by uploading a photo I took to add me to the thumbnail so that I can replace Mr. Beast. I've just resized that to make that full screen. And now by clicking into edit photo, I can use the first of the Canva AI tools here. This is background removal by clicking this button. So that's removed the background from the original picture completely, saving me, that would have taken me a couple of minutes to do in Photoshop at least. So, you know, we're saving time already here. So I just resized that to be the same size as Mr. Beast's head. You tell me who you think has the better smile. And now we're going to move on to the really impressive stuff. If we click down on apps down in this bottom left corner, we're going to find the magic media tool. So firstly, we need a impressive looking mansion for our thumbnail, just like Mr. Beast had in his. So that's what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to type in standing on a large driveway, looking up at a large, expensive, luxurious mansion. Many of the features on the mansion are plated with gold because if you look at the original, Mr. Beast has a lot of gold on his hotel. We're going to scroll down in the Magic Media AI and tell it that we want the image generated to have a filmic look. And we also want it to export in landscape because the thumbnail is a landscape layout. So all we do now is press generate image. Wow, and look at that. Within 20 seconds, I've got four images generated of pretty nice looking buildings with gold plating at various points throughout the building. For some reason, it has generated a woman on the driveway of every image. We obviously don't want that because the car has to be on the drive. So I'm gonna click on this image now because I like it the most and we've got that there as a backup. But I'm actually going to try and generate something again. So going back to Magic Media and my original instruction, but I'm going to tell the AI to not include any people and see if this works. So I'll press generate again. Okay, that didn't work for some reason. The instruction I typed in led to the AI insisting on putting a person there. But let me show you a quick fix that we can use with AI to fix this anyway. So here's the image of our hotel that the AI generated. We can actually remove this person using AI too. I'm going to click on this second tool, Magic Eraser. Then I'm going to select this woman here. And also let's select the shadow because we want that removed too. Let the AI do its thing. And voila, most of the problem's been fixed. Let's just try that again to clean up that little artifact that's been left. And we've got a tiny thing left that we need to sort out. One last try, this should be it. Boom, there we go. We've now got an AI generated mansion to rival the original from Mr. Beast's thumbnail, completely generated from AI in less than 60 seconds. So I just need to put this mansion behind my face. I'm gonna click on position. Now that I see the layers, I'm gonna drag the mansion behind me like so. And there we go, we got a mansion behind me. Let's just see how this lines up with the Mr. Beast mansion. Okay. Our mansion's a little bigger. It's not exactly the same, but we're not aiming for exactly the same. What I'm showing you is that we can use AI to create something eye-catching and impressive, just like Mr. Beast does on a weekly basis, but we can do it in a fraction of the time that it takes these huge YouTubers. And also we can save a ton of money that would have been spent on an original thumbnail like this to gain access to a mansion like that, to take a photo of it, to buy a stock photograph of a mansion like that from a stock photography website, or to have an artist draw a Imagine like that from scratch. We're on our way to getting a similar result ourselves in an instant just by using the free trial of Canva's new AI, which you can access by clicking the link below in the description to this video, by the way. So next up, we need a gold sports car on our drive to mirror Mr. Beast. The so same process, we've gone back to Magic Media. This time I'm asking for a luxury sports car that's colored completely gold to mirror the gold car that Mr. Beast had his son now. We'll just let the AI do its thing. And the AI has come back with some amazing looking cars really quickly, but I've just noticed a spelling mistake. I wrote cold instead of cold, which brought it back in the wrong color. So we generate that again. So using the same process we use for the mansion, I've gone back to Magic Media. I've asked for a luxury sports car that is colored completely in gold. And these are some of the amazing results I got back in five to 10 seconds. I think this one here is a really nice car. There's a similar angle to the one in the original thumbnail. So let's click that to add it to the image. 
I've resized that to make it fill up the whole screen. And same as before, we're going to click on background remover to isolate the car from the background. And boom, that's done. We're just going to put this car down here so it looks like it's on the drive, like in the original thumbnail. Position it behind me. Now, if we compare this thumbnail to the original, we're just going to look at how it's lined up. Okay, I'm going to make my face and the car a little bit smaller quickly. Cool, so I resized myself and the elements to make it line up with the Mr. Beast thumbnail a bit more closely. I also regenerated a different car because there was a glitch in the previous car that got generated. There was a hole in the door that you might have seen if you were watching closely. I only saw it after, so we've got a new car here to work with. And that's the thing with this tech, it's not perfect. Sometimes it's going to make mistakes and will take a little bit longer to get the results you want than it could. But this tech's only going to get better and become faster at getting the results we want. And that's why I want this video to be an insight into the possibilities that are coming down the line when we start using this tech and also just show how mind blowing it is what you can do now with this tech already. Great, so next, looking at the Mr. Beast thumbnail, everything seems to have this bright look to it and like a high contrast look. So we're going to just quickly try and get that effect on our thumbnail. So first I'll click on the hotel layer. I'm gonna press edit photo here, go into adjust and make some adjustments. So let's make the hotel brighter, increase the contrast, the same for the car too. I see I wanna make this even more gold as well. So we're gonna move the temperature up here, boost the brightness and the contrast. Make it a bit more saturated, see if we can bring some more gold out of it. Yeah, there we go. And finally me, let's edit me. Back to adjustments, make myself way brighter. To pop out, increase the contrast. God, I really have to work on my smile. This photo was taken really quickly, so don't judge me too much. We're going to increase the sharpness and clarity. Just tweak the temperature too to give myself a bit more color. Cool, comparing it to the original, back to me. Okay, so ignoring the fact that Mr. Beast's face is way more red than mine, I might try and fix that later. The next thing that's glaringly needed is he's wearing a suit and I am not wearing a suit. So let's use AI to fix that. And this moves us on to another amazing AI tool I found. We're going to click edit photo. Now we're going to click on magic edit over here. And I'm going to try and add an open jacket effect to this black shirt that I'm wearing and adds a white shirt underneath it, maybe with a tie as well. So I've selected the area where that should be added to. I'm going to press continue. I'm just going to try to add a white shirt and tie under an open suit jacket and just see what happens. Let's press generate. Okay, so that really hasn't worked. Like I said, the AI isn't perfect. Let's try again. We'll generate some new results and see if it does better the second time around. Getting better, but still not perfect. I'm going to try change the instructions. Add a white shirt and tie it underneath the top. Let's see if we can get this to work instead. Okay, so that didn't work either. So what I've done is I've gone back and I've brushed over the whole top. I'm going to try and get the AI to replace the whole top that I'm wearing. And I've typed replace with a suit jacket with a shirt and tie underneath. Let's see what happens this time. And this is the best I got from that instruction. Full disclosure, it took a few regenerations to get here, but this is the best I think I'm going to get. Probably would have got a better result if I was head on facing the camera rather at a side angle. And like I said, the tech isn't perfect, but let's press done. It's still pretty damn impressive that the AI can replace what you're wearing, I think. Even if it doesn't get it completely right, you can still really draw from your imagination to add things into the photo that weren't there originally. I'm just going to boost up my sharpness a little bit. And after a bit of tweaking of the position and size of the elements, we have a thumbnail in less than five minutes that resembles a Mr. Beast thumbnail. I even decided to add my little water fountain into my hotel garden that wasn't in the original one. I think what this AI does for time saving and allowing us to bring things into our thumbnails that we would never have dreamt of having access to in the past is incredible. Even though the Canva AI is in its early stages and it doesn't bring us a result exactly looking like a Mr. Beast thumbnail like this, we can now be more ambitious with what we want to achieve with our thumbnails and what we want included in them and make thumbnails inspired by eye-catching ones as good as this in a fraction of the time. I loved using the new Canva AI. I plan on using it a ton more. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos on tips and info in that space. And also on the topic of 
saving time and doing things way quicker, make sure to watch this video for how you can make thousands of YouTube shorts and TikToks in less than 10 minutes. Watch that next and I'll see you soon.